Hey guys, welcome back to the Outdoor Navigator. So, in this week's episode, we're going to talk camping, and we're going to talk Halloween camping even better. So, if you haven't been Halloween camping to one of your local campgrounds, uh, you need to get out there and check it out because it's, it's really awesome. It's something to see. This year, we're at Halloween Fest down at Fort Boonesboro State Park. This campground, they've got all kinds of activities planned. Uh, everybody in the campground decorates. Uh, it's really neat. And I'll have some videos showing you those decorations. We'll play some games. We'll do some hiking. And we'll show you some things uh, to do. So, if you've never been Halloween camping, you need to navigate outdoors and uh, do some Halloween camping for yourself. So, stand by and I'll show you what it's all about. This week we're talking Halloween camping so yeah it's just camping but it's during Halloween and if you've never been you need to go because man there's so many cool activities and decorations and all that kind of stuff and you know we go every year we've made it a tradition and you know just let me show you what people put into their decoration like look at this this is one down here at Fort Boonesboro. I mean, look at this. I mean, it's so crazy. I mean, people spend tons of money, tons of time, a lot of effort, and I mean, just come up with some of the coolest stuff. I mean, look at this. I mean, it's so awesome. And at nighttime, which I'll show you later, uh, you know, it's all lit up and it's really cool. So, if you've never been Halloween camping, and it's hard to do, I'll give you some uh, hints on, uh, and some advice on getting a site, but uh, if you've never been, uh, you need to try to do that next year if you can, because I'm telling you, you'll have the best time ever, and if you got kids, they're going to love you for it, and you can make a tradition that... You know, just, hey, go back every year, and it's something that your kids always have that memory of, so. I mean, it's just, man, people having a good time navigating outdoors, and. I mean, just look at all this. It's really cool. I'll show you some more after a while. Hey, guys, there's no doubt that I really like camping, especially camper camping. I love the smell of a campfire, the smell of food being cooked on a cast iron, and the feeling of a comfy bed. It just doesn't get any better, but uh, that's until you go Halloween camping. All right, that's usually that outing at the end of the camping season, and for us, it's become a family tradition. Uh, it's a time of lights, of stories, ghost stories in particular, good food, friendship, and just togetherness that you just can't beat. Uh, if you've never been, I recommend you go. Okay. In this video, I hope to share uh, some pictures of my recent trip. Hopefully, it might motivate you to get outside and get outdoors and go uh, Halloween camping.
about waking up in the morning, stepping outside to enjoy a cup of coffee, uh, taking in all the sights, sounds, and smells, you know, campfires, you know, maybe somewhere that are burnt out or still smoking or getting stoked up in the morning. Uh, it's about cooking that morning breakfast, you know, cooking up some bacon on some cast iron, man, and just that smell, you know, it just overwhelms you. And, uh, you know, then stoking up that fire, you know. You got those uh, embers in there, you know, getting that fire started back again. And uh, maybe even taking a walk around the campsite, just kind of seeing what everybody else is doing, a little bit of people watching, getting some air. But most of all, it's just sitting back and relaxing and knowing that the day is yours and the possibilities are unlimited. So, camp life. All right, so... Here we are at uh, Boonesboro Campground, walking around, checking out the sights. It's like I was telling you, if you haven't been Halloween camping, you need to check it out. Now there's some things you need to do to uh, make sure you get a spot, and I'll tell you about those in a little bit. You know, one thing about Halloween camping is man it can be it can be so stressful i mean because you feel i mean the anxiety and the stress involved with trying to book a site for the next year i mean it it just it can drive you nuts okay so what does it entail i mean it entails you researching getting up early sitting at a computer hitting a button hoping that you that you'll beat somebody else you know before they get it and you know you're either happy or you're not and I mean it it can be stressful but you know some tips for planning your Halloween trips uh, here's what I suggest okay number one do some research and find a campground okay for you okay state parks uh, private campgrounds there's a lot of them that ha have Halloween themes okay you need to make sure that they that they do that if that's what you're looking for uh, find out what kind of activities they plan you know down at Boonesboro they got tons of them they, they do activities all week I mean you play miniature golf they take people on ghost walks they do uh, uh, scavenger hunts I mean just you know all kinds of crazy things you know a lot of stuff for the kids pancake breakfast you know just just some really neat things uh, so find out what kind of events there are uh, be aware that some of the campgrounds are very crowded okay down at Boonesboro there's a lot of people down there it's a town for the whole time we're down there it's a small little town people getting up going to work you know cooking and just you know riding around in their golf carts uh, the campground takes donations for people to come in and look at the lights so at times there's a lot of traffic so just you know be aware of that kind of do do some research and make sure you're cool with that kind of camping uh you know and you got to watch out for kids <laughs> you got to watch out for them because they're running around all over the place uh be aware of the booking window so make sure you're very aware of when the campground starts their booking okay some of them start one year out okay some of them start booking out six months three months first come first serve you know make sure that you're aware when the booking starts okay and okay you also need to know what time they start taking reservations you know for like Boonesboro okay you have to go to uh, Reserve America you can start booking at nine o'clock one year out and you need to have the site in the cart and ready to hit book now when it hits nine o'clock because if you ain't ready and you ain't fast on the button you're probably gonna get beat to the punch and that's just the way it goes uh i recommend getting your account created ahead of time so that way when you do hit and you get it in your cart you know it makes it a lot easier have all your information in there where you can go ahead and uh, go ahead and book and not have to take a lot of time doing it all right set reminders okay when you know it's a year out get on your calendar and set a reminder like a day or two ahead to remind you hey also maybe have an alternate campground you know maybe I can't get Boonesboro but there's another one I know that does Halloween okay maybe I have that as a backup plan too just in case I can't get that one so uh, social media can be your friend okay 
There's uh, Facebook pages, just like Boonesboro. There's a Boonesboro Halloween camp and something or another. I don't remember what the name of it is, but uh, basically on that site, people will post, okay, if they drop a site, okay, and kind of give you first dibs on it. You know, you can say, hey, you know, I want to buy that from you. Or they'll just let you know, I'm getting ready to cancel this reservation. And then you can get on the reservation site and find it. Uh, some people might want to trade sites, okay? They've got one booked, and then they have to move to another one. And, you know, they may want to trade with somebody that, so they don't have to move, because that happens. There's people that like to stay down there for the whole month, and sometimes they don't get it. Uh, but anyway... You know, a lot of information, pictures, you know, all those things you can get on there and find out all kinds of good stuff. Now, the last thing I'm going to leave you with is be a good sport, okay? There's only so many sites. There's only so many reservations that are going to happen, okay? You mentally prepare yourself that you may not get it, okay? It happens. You may not get it. That's no, that's no reason to get all tore up, okay? I see people on sites, you know, you, you got your Karens and your Kens that are crying because they didn't get their sites, you know, because they think they're privileged and, you know, those sites belong to them because they have stayed there for the last 20 years and, you know, it's, you know, they can't get their sites and that's such a, you know, that's such a big deal and that's a bunch of crap or whatever, you know, they, they get mad. Well, the thing is, there's a lot of people camping now. Okay, especially since COVID. I mean, everybody and their brother's got a camper now. And there's a lot of people that would love to go down there and camp. And you got to remember that. You know, there's people that have never got to experience that. You've experienced it for 20 years. They haven't experienced it at all. You know, there's a lot of people that would love to experience that. And, you know, we got to, you know, as a people, we got to start thinking that way. I mean, you know, there's other people that have kids, too, that would love to get down there and experience all those things you have. So remember that. Don't get all tore up. I mean, just because you don't get your get your sight. I mean, it happens. You know, and play fair. Because I'm telling you, there's people out there that ain't playing fair. They're creating multiple accounts. Okay, they got 20 people trying to book for them. You know, hey, first come, first serve. Get on there, and if you don't get it, that's just the way it goes. Campground administrators don't be holding sites for people don't be getting on that admin page and locking up sites so people can't book them hooking up buddies or hooking up you know the people that have been there for 30 years don't do it okay there's people that get on there and they buy up sites and then they try to sell it and they try to sell for more what they bought it for don't buy from them let them eat it okay they'll quit doing it keep it fair i mean we need to try it we need to treat each other fair. Am I a perfect person? No. And I'm not even going to try to come off like I am. But I can do better. We can all do better. And if we do, it would be a better world. But that's all i got to say about that. Halloween camping is awesome. And I wish everybody would have a chance to go do it. And, you know, I'm lucky. I got my site for next year. But, you know, if I don't get it the next time, oh, well, that just means somebody else is going to have a good time. So... Somebody else is going to get to navigate outdoors, and that's what it's all about. Guys, it's been great hanging out with you. Halloween camping is awesome. Get outside and do it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'm going to have some good uh, hiking videos coming up. Got a lot of outdoor activities planned. So, hey, we'll see you in the next episode. Peace.